دولة الإمارات طبعا منذ تأسيسها في 1971 ولديها رؤية واضحة لتكون على خارطة للانطلاق بهذه الدولة الوليدة إلى الآفاق العالمية وها نحن الآن يعني نلمس كل هذه المتغيرات وكل هذا التقدم اللي حصل منذ التأسيس إلى يومنا هذا ومثل ما يقولون الكتاب ينقرأ من عنوانه I think Sheikh Mana's vision is always wanting to mirror image the uh, thoughts behind where UAE should go as a country. So tourism, manufacturing has been our principal aim uh, in getting away from the uh, dependency on oil. Sheikh Mana bin Khalif al Maktoum. لديه رؤية واضحة في طبعا في الشكل العمراني بشكل خاص وبالتوجه التجاري والاقتصادي بشكل عام اللي لاحظ على وافي يعني تركيزه على الحضارة الفرعونية كتاريخ وكحضارة ومن ثم اهتمام الشركة بالعنصر الإداري وتحديدا العنصر المواطن في مواصلة مسيرة هذا هذه المجموعة للوصول بها إلى مصاف الشركات الكبرى على مستوى المحل على مستويين المحلي والخارجي فهذه نظرة الشيخ مان الموجودة منذ تأسيس هذه المجموعة وإلى الآن إحنا ماشيين على هذا النهج. Wafi City was one of the first malls in Dubai 32 years ago. So it has an iconic space in the memories of its clientele, both residents and locals. Throughout the years, it's had many different expansions, be it within the mall, adding different uh, sections. We've had the addition of the Raffles Hotel and the Sofitel, um, and it's, it's ever growing. Uh, we have the residents that added to that, and as well as the, the offering within it has always uh, been better and better. Yeah, a bit of background on the various divisions. We obviously have companies like Raycom, uh, which is a high precision engineering company uh, for the oil and gas, airline uh, and nuclear industries. We've invested in the company in terms of machinery, plant, providing it with the core services that we have, the IT, the HR, which the company didn't have to that extent and bringing, you know, good corporate governance. We obviously have companies like Spectrum, um, which uh, provides both security and fire systems um, to the Metro, to Dubai Airport. Stone Factory, uh, which uh, is the installator and maintenance of uh, the installation of stone and marble. Our recent acquisition has been a company called Ingigitech, which produces um, fire doors for all sorts of hospitals, banks for residential. TCTI, a manufacturing company, both in GRP, GRC, we did all the fountains at the Expo uh, recently uh, in, in Dubai. One of its subsidiary, which is Compass in the swimming pool area, we saw an opportunity to acquire a company called Craig Bragdy, uh, a British company that produced very, very high-end swimming pools for sheikhs, for palaces, for uh, politicians, heads of government, uh, oligarchs. We uh, have hotels, uh, they're operated by Rotana, by uh, Accor, Sofitel, Raffles. We needed the likes of a, an international company of Accor standing. We thought the Sofitel brand was probably the most appropriate um, for the product that we have. The oldest hotel we have uh, is Raffles. When I say old, 15 years, very, very luxurious. Uh, and so we needed a luxury brand and obviously uh, Raffles was um, a very suited uh, company to have. In terms of uh, a company we have called UCR, uh, which is a hire car company, uh, we've now developed a, a mobile app, a mobility app, um, that allows one not just to hire a car in the old traditional sense, you know, but to share it, to take it in far shorter terms, uh, with a degree of flexibility. You could have a Merc one week and you can have a, a Land Rover the, the next week. 
The Wafi Group has always been open to having partnerships. We obviously value the idea of gaining knowledge, uh, gaining knowledge from other people. Uh, and where we see our local knowledge, the ability that we can provide as a group to a partnership, um, we will obviously take the opportunity. In Dolsco, which obviously a very, very old company in, in Dubai, um, we're able to provide uh, local knowledge, support, connections, which seems to be appreciated by the partners that we go into. Shredded again, uh, a waste uh, disposal, computer disposal type company. Out of Canada, out of the US, obviously very little uh, local knowledge. And so I think this is where the Wafi Group has a lot to offer. In terms of innovation, we're on the cusp of announcing Link, which is an omni-channel retail store where we will include digital uh, marketing, digital commerce, as well as logistics. This will be a unique opportunity for brands, global brands and local brands to enter this market and start trading both physically and digitally. Imagine a 32,000 square foot uh, department store where you will be showcasing uh, fashion, cosmetics, sports equipment, sports fashion, um, electronics, etc. cetera. Um, all these items that will be uh, sold by global brands. Brands that are not yet trading in the UAE will be able to place their product. As a consumer, you'll be able to touch and feel and experience that product, and you'll be able to buy it on the marketplace. Dubai Commerce City is the first e-commerce free zone uh, in the Middle East, Southeast Asia region. Um, with Link, we have uh, created a product called SparkBiz, and SparkBiz will facilitate the entry to market to global brands into the GCC and Dubai in order to trade within Link. Wafi Mall opened in 1991. I was the first employee heading Cafe The Pyramid. And this cafe has a special place in my heart. We have a mix of energetic employees who complement each other for the growth of this organization. We work as a team and our main care is taking care of the, our guests. And best service, best food, when you give, you are sure the guest will come back to you. Wafi Gourmet, uh, a Lebanese concept, um, very, very high end. Uh, we operate in UAE, Abu Dhabi, uh, and our recent opening has been in Saudi Arabia. We aim to provide the very, very best of the Lebanese cuisine that, um, that is available. Wafi Group really fosters a climate of trust and respect. So within that, I think it allows people to develop themselves to grow within the company, and that opportunity for growth is also what motivates people to stay so long. في السنوات القادمة ويعني نفي بمتطلبات المتعاملين معها في في كل المجالات. The 50th anniversary it does mean a lot to me and to my father Sheikh Mana. As the UAE has been founded 51 years ago, for us it's an honor to feel like we are a part of something greater than ourselves. And uh, the company has diversified over the last 50 years in many different sectors. My father has built an amazing empire. I would like to continue in his footsteps and see how technology can improve efficiencies and sustainability as well in the group while sticking to our core values. <laughs>